You're watching UNICEF Television. When grade four pupils were asked how many had missed significant periods of school over the last year, half of the class put up their hand. The headmaster and teacher then fill in a form supplied by the Ministry of Education to carry out a primary school annual survey. I have been asking their ages to find the ratio of their ages, asking how many of them are orphans, who has any disability, also about the teacher, what she is teaching, the class attendance, the class size. You have seen I have even pasted out to estimate its physical size. Hassan Suleiman leads the census exercise. He has in the past held training sessions with all regional education officers and trainers who are now moving from one school to another. He provides teachers with techniques on how to fill in the survey forms. This is the first time that the Ministry of Education has carried out a comprehensive survey in Somaliland and Puntland since the Civil War. This information is very important for planning. You know, the resources are very limited in Somaliland in terms of schools construction, in terms of teachers, in terms of, you know, textbooks. So these small resources, we need to plan very effectively for, uh, in order to increase the quality of education. For example, we are now checking the enrollment rate. So when we want to decide constructing new classrooms or new schools, we have to, con we have to analyze this information and determine the ratio of the teachers to the students, the ratio of textbooks to, to, uh, to the class, to the pupils, and so on. Okay. Hassan grew up in the United Kingdom, and he is one of ten technical advisors hired under the Integrated Education Capacity Development for Somali Administrators Program, or ICDC. The program is a partnership between the European Union, UNICEF, and the Ministry of Education, and aims to build capacity at the Ministry of Education in Somalia. The hiring of teaching assistants requires a rigorous selection process. In Puntland, northeast Somalia, applicants are undergoing competency exams put to them by an interview panel over the telephone. Central to this strategy is to bring in Somalis from the diaspora who have experience with international reform. People who have only worked in Somalia don't have the breadth of experience and obviously don't have experience of successful in institutional reform and organizational development because we accept that most of the ministries are at a fairly um, basic level of organizational development and institutional reform and this is what ICDC pro program is trying to do is to build the capacities of the ministries to plan and manage the development of their education system. Several years of civil war have left government ministries with few trained administrators. The ICDC program is designed to build capacity in the areas of planning and policy, human resources and financial management, as well as increase gender equality and assure high education standards. We think that by contributing to uh, improve the capacities of those ministries of education, we will help the delivery in all the other programs that we carry out in Somaliland and Puntland. Mm -hmm. So if you have a Ministry of Education that is able to design the policy for primary education, for example, and to have uh, the capacity for implementing, to have a management system on resources, uh, on the teachers, etc., that means that the, the programs that we'll have on primary education will deliver better. Each of the ten advisors has two trainees to mentor. They're involved in the everyday steps in developing institutional structures and implementation. Through this process, they will gain professional experience in managing the ministry without external support over the long term. So Harkoshin is a technical advisor with the ministry's gender unit. Today she explains how using new media like Facebook and Twitter will help her connect with Somalis living abroad to raise funds for girls' education. We saw the importance of having a different department or a different unit that was entirely responsible for encouraging girls to go to school, also doing research uh, about what are the issues and looking at, uh, um, you know, a room for, uh, you know, avenues for potential solutions and how we can 
uh, implement those solutions. Koshen has returned to her birth country from the Netherlands, where she grew up after her family fled the civil war. She comes to this school regularly to visit with the students and encourage them to keep studying. She chats with the girls who are enjoying a newly built girl-friendly space, a space made possible through the ICDC program. Very thankful. Before, there was no place like this where girls would meet and rest. We had toilets, but they were very close to the boys' toilets. So because of that, the girls happened to be very shy. They couldn't use the toilets. Some of them had to hold in their urine until they got back home. And as you know, the consequences of that, health-wise. Amina Osman grew up in Uganda and returned to work as the expert for quality assurance and examinations. For the examinations to be um, standardized and controlled and, and for us to always ensure that our examinations can compete with our regional peers will give Puntland and Somali students in general a chance to enroll at any university and give them a better chance at jobs. In addition to building capacities at the ministry, the Integrated Capacity for Development for Somali Administrators program drives home the element of ownership. As Somalia's Civil War refugees return to build a national education system, there is a common cause that creates a homegrown feel to the approach and a passion for the future of Somali children. This is Eva Gilliam reporting for UNICEF Television. For more information, go to unicef.org. Unite for children.